Hello everybody! Welcome back to my second video. Um, I've made a couple modifications, like securing my camera so that my hand doesn't shake, um, because thank you guys for the feedback, letting you know that even though it worked, it was it, it could have been better. So, I've also got more light, yay, um, so that it's not so dark. I'm learning from my uh, last video. So, um, some of you commented that you would like me to try and draw Undyne from Undertale. And I was really excited about that, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, hopefully I can do it in one shot. Undyne is actually one of the characters that gives me the most trouble, for whatever reason. Um, so we're going to try our best, and if this doesn't work, I'll just try again. Okay, so I've got, again, as I always say, um, ordinary pencil. In fact, I actually... It's not super, super sharp, you'll notice, and that's because, um, from experience, sometimes if a pencil is too sharp, it's more likely to snap or break, and it makes those little indents or charcoal spatters that you just don't really want. Um, <clears throat> but that's totally up to you. That's a preference that you have to come up with yourself. Um, I am home today because of a snowstorm, so I'm so excited. So, alright, let's get started. I'm very chattery today. Um, Undyne is, first of all, I'm not going to draw her like I drew Sans last time in a very um, straight stance, not really doing anything. That's more Sans' style. Undyne is extremely active. She's not likely to be just standing there. So I've got some poses that I looked up online because references are perfectly fine. Something that a lot of people think is you can't, you have to draw from memory. That's not true. Even artists, artists, um, use references. It's perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch really, really lightly what I'm planning for Undyne's pose. And like I did with Sans before, I'm going to start with her head and just get a circle. Her head's more oblong than Sans's. Um, and then I'm going to kind of get her body um, yes, this is going to be kind of a weird pose because I'm trying to uh, do something a little different. I know it doesn't look like her yet. I'm just getting the basic shape. This is going to be her arm. Just getting the basic shape, guys. There we go. <clears throat> I know it looks really messy, but you know what? Messy is good. Oh, did I say that last time? I think I did. I think this actually has to be longer. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being messy. Alright, so. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this pose. If it doesn't work, I'll just try another one. And we'll fine tune things when we start getting going. Alright, so, uh, it doesn't look much like Undyne at the moment, and that's perfectly normal. Sometimes a picture doesn't look like what you're trying to get it to look like until near the end. So, um, I'm going to start with Undyne's head, and we're going to do just like I did last time, where we, we start with a little bit of cross work here. Um, this is to indicate where the facial features on her face are going to go. Um, actually, let me check my reference for a minute because I found a really good head pose that I liked. So, you know what? I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to have her looking more downward. Okay, so. Undyne. Let's see. I'm going to start with her, the head shape a little bit, because sometimes you just need to define the head a little. Um, <clears throat> different people draw heads differently. I'm just getting the basic shape here um, for her head. Um, yeah, okay. Her shoulder's going to be in front. So you see we're just kind of slowly making our way. To where we want things to look like. That's the nice thing about drawing with a pencil. Though I've done it with pen too. Pen um, is fun. Maybe I'll do a couple videos where I do some pen sketches. 
that's always fun. All right, so we've got a basic head shape here. Um, and I'm going to add her little ear fins. I don't know what you call them. I guess just fins would be good. Um, I'm going to just messily get the basic shape. Um, I actually don't keep track of how many flipper things I add. Sometimes she probably has more in the comic, in my comic, at some points than in others. I probably should amend that a little bit. You guys would really laugh if you could see how I've strapped my uh, camera. <laughs> I had to get a little creative. I'm actually sitting in a, I, I barely fit in this space, and I've got my camera attached to a table leg, sort of. I don't know. It looks pretty funny. Okay, so we've got these fin-like things. Um, pretty simple. You can make them as intricate as you want. This is probably all I'm going to do for now. Um, and now that we've got the basic head shape, and I'm actually really happy with that. Usually she doesn't look that good um, when I try the first time. It usually takes several times for me. Um, so I'm going to keep that. So now I'm going to do her eyes, um, and we know for a fact that Undyne has one eye that is just a patch, um, for whatever reason. I don't know if it actually says in the game why. I don't think so. But eye patch is pretty simple. You want it to be somewhat the same size as the eye that you're going to have showing. Maybe a little bigger, because it has to cover it. And I'm going to just go like that to indicate that it's wrapped around her head a little. Right? <clears throat> Here we go. So we got an eye patch. Yay. Um, the way that I draw her nose is just a couple of little dots because she's kind of a fishy-like thing, so I leave that like that. Now her eye... Oh, I should have... Uh, let's see. Talking to myself. Sorry. Alright, so her eye... Now remember, the thing about Undyne is she's really, really strong, right? She's got a strong personality. She's strong physically. Um, but she's also a girl, um, so we want her to have girlish qualities, but not, I guess, what she might consider the weak kind, you know. So I kind of have her eye have sort of a, a lash, like that, um, a more girlish pose. And let's see, let's have her look right at us. Now... That looks extremely girly. Uh, um, something that will amend that is some big, uh, prominent, frowning eyebrows, I think, will be good. So I'm going to add in some eyebrows here. She's uh, <clears throat> frowning. Makes her look a little more intimidating. Okay. I might even stretch her eye out, her pupil out a little bit. It gives it more of a, um, what I call a dragon eye look. You know how like, or a cat eye look. It's a little bit more disturbing than just a normal eye. Alright, so, we're doing good so far. I'm still kind of nervous because, you know, all it takes is one little mistake and I'll be like, oh no! Alright, so let's get her hair in. We'll work on the mouth in a minute. Let's just get the hair in. Um, so for Undyne's hair, at least the way I do it, is I have it come up like this and I give her a lot of angles and you'll notice I'm just drawing right over the lines that I had before that's perfectly fine things are gonna get covered up that's how it works um, and then I kinda bring it down here and I add a little there um, that covers in front so just uh, erase the lines if you want um, Something that's kind of a cool trick that a lot of artists do, um, and I've used it, um, there's nothing wrong with it, it's drawing with a blue pencil, like one of those really light blue pencils, um, because when you draw with a light blue pencil, you can, you can, cannot erase as easily, true, but after you've done the drawing and you've done it in blue and then you go over the lines you want to keep with um, a pen or a darker pencil, if you take that image and you photocopy it, the photocopy machine will not show the blue lines. Cool. Yep, so that's always fun. I've done that a few times. But I always end up 
going back to this. All right, so we've got her hair kind of going on here. Um, and you can get, you know, more technical. I'm going to draw a little circle kind of coming out of the top of her head. That's where her um, ponytail is going to be when we're ready for it, or at least where it's going to start. All right, let's do her smile. Um, let's see. She looks like she's quite intense at the moment, or at least we're trying to get her to look intense. So, I'm trying to decide whether... <laughs> okay. See, that's what I always say is there's nothing wrong with using an eraser because totally mistakes are 100% possible. Maybe we'll just make her like super excited to be doing whatever she's doing. So I'm going to make her smile big. Here we go. I'm gonna, she's got sharp teeth. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that works. Okay. <laughs> Remember, this is an experiment for me too, guys. I'm not used to having people watch me while I draw. I'm a little self-conscious a lot of the time. Okay, so... We've got her head pretty much going on here. So I'm going to move on, and I'm not going to work on her hair yet because we want everything else to be the way we want it before I add something behind her. Um, so let's start working on um, her back here. Um, <clears throat> I've got my reference. I'm not showing the references only because they're offline and I don't know who did them. Um, and I don't want... I don't know how to copyright their work. Um, there are tons of references online, and they're perfectly fine. Um, something that I always do is I never copy a reference exactly. Like, I'll find a pose, but I won't use only that pose. Um, sometimes the drawings that I do are made up of, like, I think my record is like 18 different references. You know, oh, I like that nose. I'll use that nose. Or, oh, look it, I'll use those legs or something similar. Oftentimes I won't even be able to find the reference that I really want and just having things that are sort of what I want Give me enough of an image in my mind of what I'm looking for to get what I want in the end But you know whatever works for you as long as you're not copying someone else's work because that's just not fair Okay so Her back all right, I'm actually so this is going to be a little tricky. So we know that this is her arm. So I'm going to go like this and uh, get her the beginning of her shirt. She wears a sleeveless shirt. We all know this. It will be black. Now she's kind of in a very twisted position. I, I've never done a pose like this before. This is kind of intense. So we kind of have to improvise here to get her shirt the way we want and because there's so much motion in this I'm, I'm experimenting here if I don't like it I'll erase it yeah not not a fan of that I would recommend watching this video from beginning to end before starting drawing it because Obviously, I'm going to make mistakes sometimes, and I think it's good for people to see that we make mistakes, because, like I said, I'm not perfect. Heaven knows I am not perfect. Not at all. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to actually take that out. We've got this going. Kind of getting some motion lines going here. Alright. Um... So, as you can see, like, it looks like the legs are now out of alignment. That is perfectly okay. Remember, that drawing we did in the beginning was just to show us our idea. As we are actually drawing out, the image might change, you know? So, like, I would now start the leg more down here and have it go like this and curve more inward like so that right <clears throat> all right so 
we know she wears boots, but we're not going to worry about that too much. She's got muscles, uh, as you can see. She's pretty strong. And, uh, yeah, that should work. I don't know if I want to put anything here. Yeah, yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah, alright. Um, let's see. Hands are hard, okay? Um, I have a horrible time with hands a lot of the time. Most artists do. In fact, I've heard people who are way better artists than me say that hands are probably the hardest to draw. Um, and I'm not making it any easier at the moment because I gave you, us a front view of her hands. <gasps> oh dear. But we're going to try our best. So I'm trying, let's see, that would be her thumb, because the thumbs always face inward. Um, you'll notice I'm doing this weird, like, spiral thing. Um, that's to try and help me figure out the depth of her hand. Um, a friend taught me that. Maybe I'll do a video on that sometime, too. It's to help you visualize what, um, what's it called? Foreshortening. Foreshortening is when uh, something is facing you in a way that some of it's closer than other parts. Um, and it's uh, for depth. But it can be very tricky. Like this is turning out to be. Mm, I might take a little of this off. Just straighten it out. Now, Undyne has nails, at least in mine, so I kind of have that show a little. They're not super sharp, but they're sharp enough. Okay. We might, I might fix that up a little bit later. Okay. Close enough. So, we're starting to get sort of an idea here. Um, hmm. Alright. A lot of thought going into this here. Alright. So, let's try and get this other leg in sort of a position. You know what? Actually, before we start, I'm going to make this longer. Like I said, make sure that you watch this video through before you actually start drawing from it because chances are you're going to be erasing as much as me and I don't want you guys to feel discouraged or frustrated um, because I erase so much and you would have to do it too. Alright. Okay, we just made it a little longer. That's good enough for me. Um, and I might fix these up like I said. Alright. So I'm going to start on her other leg. I'm going to start it here. And like I said, um, we're not even really following this line, we're just following the idea of this whole pose. We want her, this leg to be as thick as this one, at least moderately, so I'm just going to try and find the thickness here. Uh -huh. Alright, there we go. Getting closer all the time. <laughs> this is so nerve-wracking. It really is. I mean, I'm enjoying it. I'm really having a good time, and I absolutely love doing these videos. Um, but it is kind of nerve-wracking for me because I'm afraid I'm going to mess up. But I know you guys are pretty forgiving, so. Now, Undyne wears boots, at least um, the way I draw her, and I must have gotten it from somewhere. So... Um, Boots. Let's get those boots. I'm going to make them a little thicker, as you can see. I'm going to kind of work it out here. Like so. Lots of motion. Uh, motion is really important, especially when you're drawing characters, because otherwise they're just standing there really stiff and they might as well be inanimate objects. Um, motion gives them life quite a bit more um, than anything else. 
Uh huh. Okay. So now the other one. Now the other one's going to be weird because we're getting it from such a very strange angle. Um, I'm going to try and get it right. Now it probably would start more up here. It's like bending. Okay, like that. I guess that's as close as I'm going to get. <clears throat> All right, so now um, her other hand. Let's see. I'm gonna erase that just for that. Um, she is going to be holding a spear. At least I'm going to try to do that. Um, just finding the angle. All right, so. Let's say she's got a spear, guys. I'm gonna kind of just sketch it in. Oh, I should have brought a ruler. Rulers are perfectly fine to work with, you know? Um, you can use a ruler to do straight edges. But you know what? I am going to get creative once again. I'm sitting on the floor here near a bookshelf. I just need a book that's small enough. Oh, oops, sorry. Uh, here we go. That's not small at all, but I will have to do. It's an encyclopedia. I can't really see. Alright, so this is to help me get a straight line. I'm going to line it up as close as I can, and I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw a line right through her. Not too um, heavy, because we don't want it to show up too much. It's just to give us an idea and there we go, we've got a nice straight line, because I don't know about you, but I really don't do well with straight lines. It's true. It's sad um, for the most part, but it's true. So then I'm going to just kind of add the edges to her spear. In Photoshop, I can make it more uh, glowy and stuff, but for now, this is good. Okay. Get me idea here. And if you guys want me to do another version of Undyne sometime, but her standing normal, that's perfectly fine. Um, I just wanted to do something different. Um, but if this is not as helpful to you as it could be, please let me know and I'll totally do it again um, with her just standing. Okay, so now this is a little bit more tricky because, um, let's see. It helps to figure out how an arm, like, I've got this arm, right? And I need this arm. But if we make this arm too twisted or, or in the wrong spot, it's not going to look realistic. Because remember, both arms are connected in the back, if you think of it that way. Like if there was an invisible line from this shoulder to the other shoulder. So her other shoulder is over here. And then her arm is going to come out like this and is gripping the spear at kind of a weird angle. So how would her hand be holding the spear? Well, I'm going to do it, you could do it multiple ways, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her hand be like this, gripping the spear in this direction. The spear is coming into her hand like this. And her hand is folded on, on that. Uh-huh, okay. Give her a little bit more of a sharp edge there. Um, so the spear is in her hand, and her hand is folded over it this way, in this case. You can also have her gripping it from a different angle. That's totally up to you. Experiment. I totally uh, agree with people experimenting. Often that's what I do. Okay, so, then her arm would come out like this. You know what? I don't like that. Nope. Don't like it. Mm -mm. Not a fan of that. So again, I'm racing. 
that's what I get about uh, for trying to follow this hand reference that I have. Sometimes your references do not give you what you want, but it tells you what you don't want. And so after trying several times to get what you think you want, you finally just draw from your head and realize, oh, that's exactly what I needed. So, this is difficult. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have picked something maybe a little easier. Let's start from this end. So her, she's connect. Here's her other shoulder. Her arms coming down. Her arms coming up. Let's just do her arm at first. And then her hands is got aha, okay. I'm gonna go like this. Okay, that's more of what I was going for. It's maybe a little awkward, but and remember she's got muscles. So don't be afraid to get those muscles in there. Okay. Well, there's that. And of course we'll erase so that <laughs> her hand is over the spear. Alright. And remember, you're always able to tweak things because the more stuff you add to a character, the more you're like, I've got to add this or I've got to add that. Don't be afraid to add and change things. Okay, that's better. Um, let's see. Let's do her hair. Okay, that's pretty much the only thing left. Now, we want her hair to kind of flow because she's totally in a dramatic stance right here. And if her hair was just hanging straight, that just wouldn't really work. So I'm going to kind of twist it out like that. So I don't actually show how she ties her hair back. I just kind of have the motion here. Her hair is going to come down like this. And then twist up like so get a few extra strands there and go like that and then do the same here like that okay so the only thing that's left is some tweaking um, that's okay for my first attempt <laughs> like I said there's things of course I can see my mistakes a lot easier than you might be able to while you guys might also see mistakes that I don't see um, so that's about all I've got for that the only thing I might do on my own is like I might work on this hand a little better um, and I might bring this boot up a little bit um, but that's about all I would do I'm actually not too disappointed in that, at least for today. And yeah, so please leave comments in the comments below. Let me know what I can do to improve. Let me know what you'd like me to do next. Um, you can ask me to draw another Undertale character or any character you want, as long as it's appropriate. I never draw anything inappropriate um, because I have a lot of young viewers as well as older. Um, so, yep. That's about all I've got. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!